Good morning and happy Thursday, you guys. I am wearing another cool shirt today. Check it out. What do you think? I love it. it says thingamabobs, dinglehoppers, snarfblats, hashtag mermaid life. And this was sent to me by Mouse House Tees. So yeah, there you go. I am making Tim a grilled cheese before dinner. Tim just got home. I was about to make dinner and he said he was hungry. So what do you do before you eat your dinner? You eat a grilled cheese. Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm wearing my shirt that says Eighth Wonder Expedition Company. It is from Reign of Kong, but it is not for sale. There was a social media meetup for Reign of Kong that got canceled and a friend of ours, Mike the Filmer on Twitter, he won and he invited me. And so as a consolation prize, they gave us these shirts. I think there's only like 15 of them out there. So it's a pretty darn cool shirt if you ask me. I'm gonna like have it all. Oh look, there's a grilled cheese in my hand. Look at that. Wow, grilled cheese. We also just bought on Amazon one of those like aluminum can crushers because we've been drinking a lot of LaCroix soda water. And so what we figure we'll do is we'll crush the cans and we'll keep them. And then when we get a whole like basket full of them, we'll take them down to the recycling place and get some money back for the aluminum. See what kind of like money we get for crushed aluminum cans. Maybe it'll be a lot, it'll be like $5. But still, it'll be an adventure. Cents, right? Is it five cents? No, only in Colorado. Oh. When you take it back in Colorado, you get five cents back. So tonight for dinner, we are having orange glazed meatballs with crispy broccolini and drowsman rice. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. So we've got an orange. We've got some garlic, some soy sauce, orange marmalade, white wine vinegar, jasmine rice, broccolini and then we have our ground beef that's still in the fridge so i've got my water boiling for my rice and now i'm going to supreme this orange which i didn't know what that meant did you no i had to look it up martha stewart told me it's a fancy way of cutting your orange it's just like peeling an orange but instead of with your hands you use a knife so that's what supreming an orange is did not know that and then i'm going to take the broccolini and remove the stalk from the like leafy part. I'm gonna leave this part whole and then cut this into like quarters. So that's what I'm doing. And now since the water started boiling, I've added the rice. I'm gonna cover this and set it to a low heat for about 20 minutes. And now we're gonna put our broccolini in the oven. I'm gonna actually try it in the toaster oven to see if it is a little bit quicker because my rice only has 10 minutes left and this is supposed to roast for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna roast this for 10 and see how that goes. But here are the um, little pieces of the stock. I really am kind of confused. I don't know if I cut these in the right shape or size. It just said, slice the broccolini stalks into quarter inch pieces, leaving the florets whole. I just really diced these, I don't know. I don't know what these were supposed to be like. So, um, whoops. <laughs> I just added my, the little diced up pieces of the broccolini stock to the rice for the last five minutes of its cooking. So that's kind of cool. I've never actually added anything like that to the rice. So should taste pretty delicious. Now I'm going to make the meatballs. So to make the meatballs, we add 10 ounces of ground beef, two cloves of garlic minced, two teaspoons of soy sauce, salt and pepper and that's it and then i'm gonna mix these up and form them into golf ball size balls and now you're adding golf ball size meatballs that you've made into the pan this looks so artistic why they like the drizzle of oil and the meatballs <laughs> it's cool looking oh. the pan's not even on though oh it's not <laughs> i was like i feel like this should be hot <laughs> <laughs> there that sounds better so I took them out to let the uh, oil heat up in the pan and put them back in. So these are gonna cook for five to seven minutes. I'm just gonna kind of stir them, like turn them so they're browned on each side. I'm not exactly sure how to turn meatballs. Like, do you guys have any tips or tricks? Whoa. Like a meatball turning trick. Like what? <laughs> how do I do it easily? Ooh, this is starting to look pretty good. And here is the finished plate. So we were supposed to spoon some of the glaze on top, but the glaze like cooked down pretty quickly. So there wasn't very much more glaze, but we do have some extra soy sauce. There's Tim's plate. It didn't turn out as pretty. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty good. It, oh wait, forgot to put the orange in. I just put a couple in, so I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it is. So those were some of the best meatballs I've ever had in my life. 
The texture was spot on. They were cooked perfectly. The glaze was not exactly my favorite thing, but it was still very delicious. Could have done without the rice though. Or maybe some sort of a sauce on the rice. I don't know, the, the rice wasn't my favorite at all but the meatballs were good. And today's task is breaking down all of these boxes. Maybe not all, well, yeah, I wanna to try to get through all of them, but yeah. You gotta cut them up and get them ready for recycling. There it is. All cleaned out that corner, which we called box corner. Box corner is no more. Oh man, there was an old 32 inch TV. There was a tube TV up there. You forget how heavy tube TVs are until you have to take one off the top of a dresser. So that big old CRT TV that I told you was very heavy, I put it out by the curb. We put a sign on it that said, free, it works. So far nobody's taken it. I'm kind of interested to see how long it's gonna sit out on the curb. I think there's a lot of copper in it though, so like maybe somebody going around trying to pick up stuff that people have put out and like take it to the recycling joint. One of two things will happen. Somebody will take it and they'll use it, or somebody will take it to be recycled. So, I don't know what's gonna happen to it. I'm gonna try these Fox's Tea Time Treats, a selection of 30 biscuits in seven different varieties, but their catchphrase is amazing. More yum per crumb. I like that. I always like it when stuff rhymes and it's funny like that. Yeah. I like that. I'm tired. <laughs> Ooh, guys, good news. Do you see all these crumbs right there? There's some yum in them. So there's my plate full of every different kind of tea biscuit. And tea I'm not- biscuit. Tea biscuit. Tea <laughs> biscuit. <laughs> That's my rap name. I'll tell you which one I really like or I really hate. This one's really good. What does it say on it? Does it say bourbon? It says- Or bullion? It says bourbon. Bourbon. Oh. I was eating bourbon biscuits. It didn't taste like bourbon. So none of them really like stood out to me. They were all very good, but there wasn't one that I was like, ooh, I want this one. But I think that Jen may have had some standout ones. I beg to differ. I'm sorry, I look crazy. We've been like cleaning like nuts, like trying to get rid of, we got rid of a TV. We got rid of, um, I've been like shredding old documents and stuff. Here's my issue. What? When people come in and when people come in and they say, I beg to differ, shouldn't they be like, please, I beg to differ. Please. Right? Because that's like, that's, or what, how do you beg? What do you mean? Like by saying please, right? Please, sir. Please, please. Please. Sir. please. <laughs> I beg to differ. But I really, did. let me just show you. Look at this. I thought the milk chocolate digestives were delicious because it was chocolate on one side and like a really crumbly buttery cookie on the other side. I thought the golden crunch creams were delicious because it almost tasted like clotted cream. It was like a very delicious little cookie sandwich. And then I also love the bourbon creams because that was just wonderful, wonderful chocolate. And the chocolate on these like UK candies is a, is a better chocolate for sure. And then I also like the custard creams because they were similar to the golden crunch creams but like a little bit sweeter. 100% honesty though, I don't really like party rings. I'm like not, they're not bad. I'm not a fan of that like hard candy on top. Yeah, we've had a lot of them. But thank you guys for sending this to us because it really was pretty ding dang delicious. Bandit got super excited because you flipped it over and like... <laughs> he thinks I'm gonna drop it and I'm not. I'm not gonna drop it. <laughs> Here's what's driving me crazy tonight. I, I'm gonna go walk around the pool a little bit. But look at how close that is. All right, I just walked around the pool four times. What the heck, it's at the same number. Why? I don't know. No, I don't think we're gonna hatch this egg tonight. Ding dang. Well shoot. I guess I'm not gonna hatch that egg tonight. Ding darn. It was a good night though. We had cookies, we did some cleaning, and we, what else did we do? Oh, we had a delicious, delicious dinner of meatballs. It was amazing. But I am really tired now, so I am off to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.